Hello and welcome to some production card challenge here today. We are in the Mazda and uh, we've got a nice mix today. Looking pretty good. We've got a nice little handful about every class. Solstice the most sparse at four, but you know, we've got a little bit of everything here. So it's a true production card challenge, which is awesome. And not just a, a differently named Mazda series, <laughs> which it can be all the time. Okay, uh, hopefully this will be a good one. We're at Summit Point. I haven't even mentioned that yet, but uh, we're here often enough. It's probably pretty recognizable. We'll uh, use this first lap, hopefully get the tires warmed up. I just remembered. I need to check to make sure. Okay, I got my Matrix Garage set up in. That's good. But I'm also going to do this. Try to get a good starting spot. Okay. Let's get going. Their exit looks clear. Stay behind the line. <laughs> I don't want to run out of time either. Okay, here comes your first. Oh no, lap. this is going to be the first timed lap now. I didn't think about that. Is it? Or is it just saying that? I might have just confused my spotter. It looks like it still says zero two, so I think we're okay. It's a weird situation here because uh, start finish line is actually after the exit of pit, so the game's got to do some different things in order to uh, do the timing right. So this outlap, I'm going to be swerving around a little bit trying to get the tires warmed up. So that way uh, I can put in a better lap. When it's, uh, when it's time. The brakes to stop squeaking so much, maybe. And hopefully get a good run out of the corner. Usually when I try to get a good run out of one of these corners, I usually just do end up doing it worse. So I'm just going to take the corner normally, <laughs> to be honest. I'll probably still mess it up, but whatever. Yeah, I messed it up. Green, green, green. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so now for real for this lap. I swear the volume keeps changing. I might be going crazy, but I swear that my volume keeps going down. And I might just be losing my mind, but... Uh, that could have been smoother. Not a huge deal. I'm still not quite up to temp, so I can't really go through there as fast as I would normally like to. I'm just not good on cold tires, I, I, that's usually the case. I don't adjust very well to it, to be honest. But, uh, once things get all ready, then usually I can keep up pretty decently. Not sure where I'm going to be um, compared to this field. I am the number three, so hopefully I'll be able to do well, but we'll see. That was not smooth at all. I don't know why I can't get that corner right most of the time. That corner kills me a lot. One more lap. So, you know, a solid second slower than my best attempts, as usual, it seems like in qualifying. Why did I overdrive that again? I swear. Losing my mind. Catherine is saying sorry to someone during qualifying. I don't understand the leader's just how done that's possible. It's not group qualifying. Yeah, more, more likely, uh, they accidentally hit the button for quick chat. I swear I was doing better in practice. 
that's usually the case. I come out here and I'm, you know, I swear I do this to myself every time. I know, I know what I'm doing is I do a bunch of practice, do like 10, 15 laps of practice or something, and I get used to how the car feels on good tires. And I forget how it drives on cold tires, and then I come out here, and I'm driving it too hard. I swear that's what happens. I just completely blew the last corner again and killed my lap. And that was slower. Ugh, I'm so frustrated with myself. I guarantee you that's what it is, though. So frustrating, because I know I can do better than that. My best time is at 125. That would be three tenths faster than guy in fourth, but I guess uh, I gotta factor in the fact that uh, my best time was on ideal, was in ideal conditions for the most part. So, oh well, I'll park it because I want to remember to put fuel back in. There we go. Ugh. All right. Better than worse, maybe. Not great. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not very happy with that. These starts are so scary in road racing. I just I hate being right in the middle of it. But we'll see what happens, I guess. So, let's see here. Just checking out the entry list, see where the high ranking people are. The number two is not qualified in our Mazdas. Highest ranked guy is in, well, we just talked, <laughs> the Solstice. I had it muted. Um, so, we're not going to have to worry about them. Four is in a Jetta. Very interesting. Everybody but the 13 has decided they are ready. What is the 13 doing? I don't know. They did one lap. Maybe they're on their next lap still. I don't know. Yes, uh... Like I said, could have been worse with the qualifying, but I'm definitely not happy with that. I want to run better than that. And two still has uh, chosen not to qualify. Which, uh, I, I get it. I get it. These things can be crazy. That's the end of the session. P5. And uh, this race 25 minutes. Should be long enough that uh, you can make up some time, you would hope. Uh, rolling we go, start. Oh, I forgot. So we got that fun to contend with here. See if they leave space between the classes. Mustas will be rolling off second behind the Mustangs. Got a nice showing this time. Looks like seven of them. And uh, all of them are ranked 18th or higher. Which makes me worry a little bit. We're going to see a lot of Mustangs crashing in front of us. <laughs> but hopefully that's not the case. Pretty widespread. Like, there's no one within the same second tier in the Mustangs. You got 18, 19, 20, 22, and 23. I, my, meanwhile, the Mazas are all within a couple seconds there. I feel like I could have gotten a 120, but it kind of blew the qualifying. Stop dwelling on that, though, and start focusing on what I need to do now that I am in the position I am in. Just kind of middle of the Mazdas here. I'm obviously going to be very patient, give plenty of room, let things sort out before I start doing anything too crazy. Got to let the tires warm up, too. Not only because you'll have less grip, like, for going through the turns faster, but it uh, can spin on you, too, if you're not careful. Setup's not evil, like some of the setups are in the Mazda. But uh, still, you gotta be uh, gotta be a little cautious. Uh, one thing I am gonna keep an eye on this race is that L bar on the top right during practice and leading up to the race. 
Uh, I was getting some spikes on that L bar. Just brief ones, but uh, they were happening pretty consistently, and that was concerning enough for me to... Uh, I was considering not running this race, but it seems to be behaving for the most part so far. And uh, it was very intermittent when it was happening before, so I'm hoping that even if it does get uh, bad for a second, it'll correct itself soon and hopefully not leave us blinking real bad or anything. I'll warm these brakes up. Don't know if that's a thing that actually matters in the Mazdas or not, but might as well. The squeakiness out of them. Try to warm up the tires a little bit while pacing, but I'm not going to do all the crazy, like, swerving that people do. I don't trust myself not to run into someone. We're leaving a little bit of space to the Mustangs, but not too much. Which is understandable, because we, uh, we do have uh, pretty full classes in every class, so we got to make room for them behind us, too. To be courteous, so... It's interesting. Alright. Gotta watch out for the guys doing all the crazy stuff, starting and stopping and swerving around. Trying to get a little bit of heat in the tires. Going around these corners a little faster. But uh, no matter what, still just going to have to be cautious at the start anyway, so. Shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, those Mustangs are going to be grounding that corner here soon. Get ready, going green. We're watching that inside car. If I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. I think we're watching that inside car. Yeah, it looks like we're going. Good with me. I didn't even know the guy was there, I'll be honest. We already got crashing, it sounds like. Slow car ahead. Clear on the right. You got a slow car on the right. Uh, what I tell you, the Mustangs yeah, might be a problem. Car right, you're on the left. Three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear. Back out. So we don't uh, cause a problem. That guy's causing his own problems. Oh my lord. That was my fault. I backed out. He took the corner how he wanted. And was not able to hold on to that. I was trying to help us both out and not crash each other, and uh, he still found a way to do it. Alright, well, that's one last person to worry about up here. We're catching a Mustang, which is absolutely frustrating. Because that should not be a thing. Oh my god, the guy behind me crashed. He's called Tires Man. Maybe it's more evil than I thought. I haven't had much trouble, but... Clearly, other people are. Really hoping we can get around this Mustang and not have to worry about them anymore, because clearly they're off pace. So they should not be back here with the Mazdas. You're in fourth position. Really good. Come on, keep your focus. E4. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Okay, hopefully we don't see that Mustang again. Hey, babe. We're stacked up a little bit here. It's a little concerning, but... Be patient. Big picture.
Mm. Still a little slidey. Good though. That's some space behind us, that's nice. Alright, feeling pretty good. Danger level has gone down as we've kind of gotten into a smaller group here. They're all winding around as if it's the last lap. Keep that in mind, they're apparently racing 100% right now, which I don't think is a good idea. They can do what they want to do, I guess. They're stacked up on each other real bad, and it's slowing me down. It's a lot of good laps right now, not much to uh, talk about. I might have to pass or try to pass if they go really slow, but I really don't want to try to fight right now. Even though I feel like I could pull away, maybe. There's a group of faster cars bearing down on you. Uh, These guys are scrapping for position. Tires are getting better, feeling pretty good. Alright, Colton, double chances here. Let's just sure we can take have to be off the... minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. I feel like I have to slow my down, myself down so much. Has fallen back a little bit. That's concerning me. I don't want to lose their draft if I can help it. Sorry, Mike. I'm not playing that game. Follow the leader right now. As much as they don't want to follow the leader Before. on the front stretch there. As we keep up with these guys and don't lose a bunch of time, I'm not too concerned about passing. Whoa, leader almost crashed themselves there. Instinctively followed them. <laughs> I followed them in the draft. Go right, got a serpentine. Wow. Side by side. We can break earlier. Got ready for that. People behind catch, They're fighting. <laughs> I 
feel like I'm at super speedway. I'm like half throttle. Bunch of the lap. So my qualifying's important too. If I qualify ahead of these guys, I don't have to deal with it. Instinctively following them again. Your last lap time I'm gonna go for a pass. Three, five. Six, Looks like two, it. Zero. Right Pretty early. Off the pace. Car on your left. Stay on the right. There's no way he backs out, line. right? Clear on God, the right. I'm trying to go three wide. The gap behind is now zero point three five. <sighs> That's why it's not even worth it. Like I have to pass at some point, but like, Lord, it's terrifying trying to be around people. Chat. It's working. Okay, Colton. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. It's like the ten has officially joined us. Seems like they're part of the group now. Hope they're patient. Fifteen minutes left. That's fifteen minutes. I'm watching that Mustang behind us, choosing to pass people. Just hope if they are passing, that they can actually stay in front and pull away, and not going to just be in the middle of our battle. Common problem. Just have to be off the throttle so much more than I want to be behind this group of guys. This nine is a little bit off pace now, but is able to keep up well enough. Mustang's gonna try to pass us. Okay. Car on your left. Still oh, there, hold your line. Oh, Stay on the left. Keep the pressure on. What an idiot. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. You have no idea. Fucking the stinky idiots. I just, I don't need to explain how stupid that is, do I? I just, I don't feel, I don't even feel like it. Slow car ahead. Unbelievable. That's just ridiculous. Clown. He just wrecked the Mazda leader. Clear. Well done, Colton. Great move. Keep it up. Car <sighs> He was too off pace for me to ride behind him, but keep to the left. You're now in third. Sector one is one point one seconds off the pace. 
That's half distance. The fuel's okay. Clear on the right. Car right. Wide. Prevented me from finishing that off. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. God, the solstice and probably the worst part on the track. Car on your left. Clear. Almost got taken out by that other guy. Alright, things have gotten sketchy all of a sudden. It certainly broke up our little party there. Thankfully we're through it somehow, safely, after some really sketchy moments. This two is going to be fast. They made their way through the field, I'm pretty sure. That really bad. So there goes the two. All right. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Really? Clear. Hello, oh, Colton. Come on, mate. Defend your position. P4. Pretty sure he's faster. Or at least uh, he has been, because I'm I'm I've completely lost my rhythm after all the things have gone on. So many things to worry about. I can't even think about <laughs> racing. <sighs> All right. I remember how this works. Still so much time, like, nothing urgent at all. You got guys, like, driving off the track, trying to get past guys, like... It's like nine minutes. That's less than I thought, but still plenty of time. Side. Gonna be real slow through here. Knights have tr had trouble with that corner a couple of times. remembered how to take that corner. I think I'm just not brave enough. Like, you gotta, kinda, gotta be brave and, <laughs> and cut that corner a little short. But during races, I'm so nervous and careful. I don't uh, do it. Please back out. Do not want to be side by side. Are you on the left? <laughs> Tires are wearing a little bit, so I can't go quite as hard. Or at least that's what it feels like. Maybe I'm just going faster because I'm behind guys too. That could also be a thing. Cut that too short, but it was still kind of fast, I guess. <laughs> and then went wide there. It's definitely not been my best drive so far. Making lots of mistakes. Not nearly as smooth as I would like to be. 
still in it. You just can't get that corner right. You've used half your fuel. Keep searching, you'll find a gap. That was a uh, 121.65. I swear every lap we've reached a solstice in like the worst part of the track coming to this left turn. kind of scary. Found a way around though. P4, the gap in front is now 0.9. Actually kind of did that okay that time. A little bit wide, but it was kind of kind of carried decent speed for once. The number two has caught the leader, so they're going to start battling. McDonald is now leading. See how much time they lose going side by side like that. I swear, every lap. Every lap we reach a solstice here. What is happening? Uh, okay, solstice is on our apex. We can't really do anything except wait. Yeah, that was just bad luck. I don't blame you. That's good. Yeah. Well, just poorly by poorly timed solstices. That's what that was. Look how much time we lost. Oh boy. Who's probably got it? He's up there, and I think he's there to stay. These two have been battling quite a bit. That could bring them back to us some more. If we can avoid finding solstices, then uh, maybe we'll be okay. Or will we find a Jetta this time? It sure looks like a Jetta on the horizon. Sectors 1 and 2 are 0. 0.32 off the pace. Sector 3 time is quick. Catherine is saying pass left. Oh gosh. He drives off course. Please hold a line. He has not held a line. 
Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Clear. <laughs> Survive that. I don't think there is a good place to pass slower traffic on this course except for the long straight, <laughs> to be honest. It's pretty much tough everywhere. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. You can probably get by someone pretty easily from here, maybe. That'd be another good spot. No, oh, whoa, I had to save it there. The back end really kicked out on me. Holy cow, that was scary. Sectors two and three are <laughs> zero. Point Don't do that. Zero. Off the pace. You are tenth off the pace in sector one. Still fighting ahead. I mean, I'm, I'm driving poorly, to be clear. Um, I'm only keeping up with these two guys because they've been battling so much. I could do a lot better, but I am uh, not being smooth at all. Thanks. Yep, this should be the last lap we're coming up on. I knew it was about time. Last lap. It's gonna be side by side heading into one here, it looks like. Interesting. Cast up on the ride. <laughs> that was scary. Car on your left. Still there. Push harder. Keep to the Get right. Podium here. Clear on the left. <laughs> That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Good. Pass. Oh boy, what a pass. I'll pat myself on the back for that one. I don't oh, care. <laughs> on okay, Colton. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. I'm allowed to have confidence once in a while. That was a nice pass. <laughs> Not gonna quite catch uh, P2 here. Unless they really blow this corner. Let's almost wreck one more time, but we get the podium. Good race, guys. Whoa, okay, slamming on the brakes. That's not what we do. Incidents still count right now. That guy doesn't care, though. <laughs> He's going on a journey. He's heading straight home. And I'm just going to be headed for a nice, safe parking spot. But we got ourselves a podium on the last lap. That's cool. I was able to catch those guys because they were battling, and uh, had a pretty fun race. Got a 0x, I believe. That is correct. Alright, fun stuff. True multi-class. Great race, Brett. That was awesome. True multi-class. Lots of <laughs> multi-class traffic. Finish. Dang, man. Tenth every lap. I don't know how you do that. Boy, tenth every lap. All right, so starting fifth, I think, of the Mazdas, ended up third, gained a couple, got stuck behind for a while, but kind of hard to pass here. And uh, you were gaining on me in the S's yeah. there for a little bit. I made a lot of mistakes, so I'm glad I made it out of this one <laughs> without uh, dying. Let's see the incidents. Yeah, the tire fell off. And my brain fell off. Mustangs rear-ending each other at the start. Sorry, it's just a little bit loud for me. I had a feeling they were going to be messy.
and uh, they were turn one lap when messy and it causes a train chain reaction too that poor shell mustang uh wrong place wrong time and they're just swerving all over the track that's why you leave space between the glasses so those kind of things can sort out a little bit first so there's a guy that wrecked in front of us i remember uh <laughs> I let him get ahead back out here so that way we're not side by side on the first lap and uh, well, I guess it's a good thing we weren't side by side because he couldn't handle single file I might have been next one and then there's this guy I don't think I've ever seen anyone crash right here just called tires and uh, didn't have enough grip for that hard of a left turn and that's a bad place to spin out to because you're heading straight into those walls or into that wall with those tires and then he's almost backing up onto the track that's not ideal you got tow at that point right I guess not you're pretty close to the pits Look, it's, why are you in the middle of the track my dude stop it and he's cra he can't even get to the pits. He's crashing before he can. And now he's really on the track. Thankfully no one's there. Driving backwards. He's having a rough one. Is this, uh... No, I, was, I thought that was going to be a bad rejoin, but... This guy just gets himself in the grass. This person's on a full-on journey. I thought that was going to be the world's worst rejoin, but it was just one of them. One of the world's worst rejoins. Into the trees! Welcome to the forest, my friend. Is that a rear endings right at the beginning of this clip? Just changing lanes right before the braking zone is generally a dangerous move. Just a simple rear ending there, it could have been worse. Mazda was not prepared for a different class to have a different braking zone. Oh, here's this. Oh, I forgot it was the shell guy that was a problem. So here's the deal. Friend, if you're out there, if you can hear my words. <laughs> your nearest Mustang is all the way up here. You are laps down, because if that's the next Mustang and they're ahead of you and you're in eighth, and they were in third, that means you're laps down. You're out of your race. You're not going to win. We are racing for the win here. It does not matter. Does not matter. Sorry for this tangent. Does not matter that you are a faster class. Wait for your opportunity. If these guys are racing side by side, I would see this if I were in this class and be like, okay, I'm not going to be able to weave my way through this right now. I'm going to be patient, wait for my chance, and not interfere with their race for the win. Because I am laps down. Wait for your opportunity. Don't send it three wide. What are you doing? And then I know he comes up here and just straight up takes out the leader. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is not acceptable. That is a fundamental misunderstanding of the way that multi-class racing is supposed to go. You gotta be, in real life, like, these are expensive cars, you're being careful around other classes at all times. You're patient, you have to be. That's not patience. And what do you gain out of that? He's in 8th right here, right? Let's see where this guy finishes. Mustang. Where'd you finish? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What? I'm confused. <laughs> Is that oh, wrong? Okay, I don't understand how this is working. But, point is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like, there's no need for it. 
That's my point. How does that work? How is he an A? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's only seven Mustangs. Am I losing my mind? Is it because this guy didn't start? He doesn't appear on this list? No, that's not why. Here's the fact, though. You finished last of the guys that are actually running. That's my point. It did you no good to crash the leader of another class. Okay, sorry. Big tangent, and I got lost, but... You know, you can go around. <laughs> what are you doing? And then the solstice break checks him. What are we doing? What is happening? <laughs> go around! I don't understand what's going on in this race. That one I don't even have an explanation for. Like, go around him. <laughs> that is a time where you're on a long straight, you can go around him. Just do it. And then he crashes and takes out a Mazda, it looks like. Yep, there he is. Took out a Mazda. And that was just a mistake. Just like not being able to take the corner right. Hey, uh, I was unfortunately very correct about the Mustangs in this race. They were a problem. Oh, I don't remember this. Was this the final lap? This might have been the final lap, because I remember Yes, this was right after our pass. I didn't even see that happen. Hey, and now we get to now I get to brag about my pass. <laughs> so I kept on him. Got the nose on him there. It's the final lap, gotta just do it. I gave him plenty of room. And uh, then outbraked him. He was gonna go off. He was a little too wide there, so he had to hit the brake so he wouldn't go off. And that allowed me to get into this corner harder. And then he just kind of spins. He half spins. Gets finished off by the other guy. Well, shoot. <laughs> I feel like I didn't do anything wrong, at least. I just made the pass. Gave him plenty of room and everything. So. Sinks, though. He was having a good run. I think he's recovered well enough anyway. That Mustang way overdrove that corner. And that's it. All right, so some weird things going on in this race. Um, yeah, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Third place of the Mazdas. We were ranked second of the Mazdas, so I guess technically supposed to finish out of the six or whatever. It, who cares? Whatever, whatever. We, uh, I think that was a very good run. I'm very happy with that. And of course, Zero X too, which is always fantastic. One of only uh, three Mazdas to pull that off, so that's cool. And uh, it was a very exciting race. Lots of lap traffic, because it, it was a true multi-class race with a little bit of everything in here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. And thankfully, internet was not a problem. Good news. Or if it was, I didn't notice. Uh-oh. I hope it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.